Hey guys, guess what? Chicken butt. <laughs> Today I have some more Dr. Phil for you. We got this new girl who got more problems than Danielle Broccoli. At one point there was a bounty put on my niece from a drug dealer because Alex owed money. What? This is probably the most problematic girl that we've seen so far. That's saying a lot. She was homecoming queen on the varsity cheerleading team. Okay, so that's how it all started. Alex's drug addiction has completely ripped my family apart. Damn! What happened? She used to be so pretty. See, she should be on an ad for why you shouldn't do drugs. And then show like a before and after. That's horrible. She's been arrested numerous times. Alex has taken my credit card. She's taken her sister's credit card. She's stolen thousands and thousands of dollars. Alex has stolen all my jewelry. What? How old is this girl? I mean, she's probably 18 or something by now. Let me get this straight. She got arrested numerous times, steals money from her mom, takes her credit card, and now takes her jewelry? This is a problem child. One time, when she was working at the jewelry store, Alex devised this plan to steal and pawn the jewelry. It was around $30,000. She stole in my car. Bro, so this girl works at a jewelry store, took her mom's jewelry, $30,000 worth, pawned it, so they hold on to it while she takes the money. $30,000. Bruh, how are you just gonna casually go into your mom's closet, take $30,000 worth of jewelry? That's a lot. Her parents gotta be loaded or something to have $30,000 worth of jewelry laying around, and she's just gonna take it. I don't know how kids could do that to their parents, just like steal a crazy amount from them. Like, like something like jewelry, like something that has sentimental value, some things that are like passed down, and they just take it and sell it. For what? I don't get it. And taking her car too? Man, this girl thinks it's GTA in real life. Yeah, I'll just go to jail real quick, come out. Okay, let's repeat. I said, screw it. Let's just get her arrested. I mean, enough is enough. So we called the police. There's been numerous times where Alex has gotten physical. She punched me and she broke my nose. Okay, we got a demon child over here. She gonna break her mom's nose, steal $30,000 worth of jewelry, take her car. Jeez, y'all need to get a restraining order or something. This girl's crazy. Check her mugshot though. Look at that bomb ass lighting at the police station. Or I don't know if this is like before and then after she get out of jail. Look what drugs do to her skin. That's horrible. Hey everybody, it's Alex again. Starting to feel better. Even better. I actually had the strength to put some makeup on. Don't tell me she a YouTuber. Or she doing some Instagram stream or something. Mmm, girl, is this what you trying to do? First you take mommy's money, and now you trying to make videos on the YouTubes. Whenever I feel you're doing good, we get, we get sucker punched. So all this is going on while she's living with her mom. Why doesn't her mom kick her out? I'm pretty sure she's an adult by now. You gotta know when to say yeetus to the fetus. Get out of this house. I mean, I guess that's why they call Dr. Phil. When you're having a family crisis, who are you gonna call? Dr. Phil. Alex tells me to move on. I wanna smack her and tell her to go herself. Be honest. Her daughter's gonna do a bunch of and then tell her mom to move on. Yeah, I will smack her too. Now they're here on Dr. Phil. This drug use has destroyed everybody's life and she doesn't take responsibility. All of her apologies are half-assed. Nobody wants a half-assed apology. She thinks we're all crazy. We should just get over it and move on. Move on! If you're gonna keep stealing mom's money and keep ruining your sister's lives and you're just like, sorry, move on and then do it again and again and again and again, it means nothing. Like, what's the point of even apologizing if you're gonna keep doing it again and again and again? Like, girl, this girl is problematic. She's thrown steel pots at my head. She straight shoved me through the drywall. This girl is a hooligan. She is out of control. Throwing pots at her head? Poor K. Why? What's the point? She was drinking wine while she was driving. I told her I did not approve of it and pull over. I got out of the car and I didn't have my hand out the window yet and she just took off going 45 miles an hour and I was still holding on to the window. What? I swear, these kind of people, they need to be locked up. Like, I was watching, like, a documentary on people like this. And some people, I feel like they're just not cut out to be, like, free in society. Like, some people need to be locked up in a jail. Like, this girl is actually insane. Imagine your family doing that. Okay, first of all, she's sipping her wine while she's driving her sister around. Okay, see, that's, like, the number one rule of, like, driving. I don't know if you know this, but you're not supposed to drink and drive. 
five, honey. And then when her sister tells her stop, she gotta just like, as she's getting out of the car, she go floor it. She's a maniac. Maniac. Two years ago, her Alexandria was arrested because she was going to stab me with a butcher knife. I was arguing with my sister because she was high. She came up to me in the kitchen and she reached in the drawer kind of like this and took out a knife and jogged her hand back as if she was gonna stab me. Luckily, my mom was there. She wrestled with my sister. She took away the knife. If my mom hadn't intervened, she would have actually stabbed me. Do y'all not see this issue? I don't know how they waited so long to do something about it. This girl needs to be in jail. Like, there's so many problems in this household because of one person. We want Alex to be truly sorry and recognize that she screwed up. She just lashes out, gets angry, wants to blame everybody else for her problems. She doesn't ever want to own up to it. Yeah, just like I said, I feel like what she needs is some good old fashioned jail time. I don't know. I hope Dr. Phil can do something. I don't feel like my family can forgive me for doing the things I've done. Everyone just assumes that I'm just like throwing all the responsibility of my child onto my mother and just dumping her off with her. It's completely absurd. Okay, plot twist. This psycho Barbie has a spawn. Most likely from hell. You would have thought becoming a mother would maybe change her. Nah. My granddaughter was born addicted to oxycodone. Had to be weaned off in the NICU for two weeks. I always wondered, how do they know that a baby is born addicted to something? Like as soon as the baby pops out, it's gonna crawl to us near a CVS pharmacy and find some pills? I don't know how it works. So she got a baby. She causing all these problems at home and she addicted to drugs. <laughs> I feel like her family just feels bad for her or something. Like they're forced to like keep her at home and take care of her kid. Cause obviously I don't think she can. It, it's actually laughable. They're just so stuck in the past. I've obviously made a lot of mistakes that I regret, but I'm really trying to do better. I've caused a lot of pain, but my family is refusing to just move forward from that, and it's making it really difficult for me. All right, I'm gonna tell you what Dr. Phil is probably gonna tell you. She's telling them whenever she causes a problem, she's just like, sorry, okay, let's move on, but continues to cause problems. And now her family is like, nah, we ain't trying to move on. You aren't really sorry. Now you must pay. I think they either resent it or look at me like I'm a joke. They've called me a junkie. They've called me a druggie. They said that I will never amount to anything. Okay, but you know, the first of those were pretty spot on. When they're looking at me, it's like a look of like disgust. They're just kind of like sitting there on the side with some popcorn waiting for the next bad thing to happen. It's like a gloomy cloud like around my whole life. Everything that I've done so far has been for nothing. Maybe because she is a gloomy cloud that just likes to rain on everybody's parade. Nah, that doesn't even have to be a parade. She just gonna rain. Like rain, rain, go away. Go to jail or something because we don't want you to stay. Alex is not capable of taking care of her daughter because she has chosen drugs over her daughter. I don't feel like you guys include me in any decisions, her schooling or her doctor's appointments. Maybe because you are unfit. She is an unfit mother. Like they're taking care of everything. Like taking her to school, doing everything for her daughter, basically raising her. And then she's like, why don't you let me be a part of it? Smokes crack cocaine. I don't think that's fair. The decisions I had to make, I had to make because you were incapable of them. Hogs does not have that motherly instinct, motherly bonds, or anything motherly to her. Alex's entire pregnancy, she was miserable. She didn't want to be pregnant. You could just tell that she was repulsed by money. Honestly, me, if I ever got pregnant. I know most women are like excited about being pregnant. Like it's such a great time in their life, you know? I'm just being real. I'd probably be miserable too, so. Alex is a danger to my niece. There have been multiple times where I have found syringes in Alex's bed on the driveway floor. I found crack pipes all within the baby's reach. Okay, so this girl talking about how she trying to get better. Where is the getting better? I don't see any getting better. Like she's leaving drugs around where her kid can get it. And her kid is like four years old. So she could probably like figure out how it works and use it. This is straight up messed up. This is a horrible situation. Like I really hope this girl changes or Dr. Phil does something like boom, magic. Definitely took her daughter with her when she was getting drugs without a doubt. She's made several comments about how her mom sells pills. One time, my niece demonstrated how to crush up a pill, roll up a piece of paper, and pretend to snort it. What? The kid is demonstrating how to do it. Somebody call CPS 
right now. This woman used to be thrown in jail. Like, I never really say that about anybody, but when you're doing that kind of stuff with a four-year-old or like any kid, come on, man. I mean, this is just a case for me that's like, some people need to take a nice long vacation in prison. At one point, there was a bounty put on my niece from a drug dealer because Alex owed money. What? What? At one point, there was a bounty put on my niece from a drug dealer because Alex owed money. Okay, this is getting insane. They put a bounty on the kid because her mom owed money. Yikes. This is the worst situation that I have ever seen on Dr. Phil. Like, hands down, the worst. I have zero say in anything that goes on in my daughter's life at all. It's awful. Good. Like, I feel like I am on the sidelines while my daughter is growing up. Good! This girl is so incredibly lucky her family doesn't just throw her in jail. Like just, hello 911! Y'all, we got a psycho junkie here. Can someone please come pick her up? Get her out of my life. Yay! But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want a part two, make sure you hit that like button in the face. Comment below. Do you think she deserves to go to jail? What are your thoughts? I need to know. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.